UK basketball. Even though it was an unofficial opening for the Kentucky Wildcats Tuesday night, nevertheless, it was a successful one. A 75-72 victory over the Soviet Nationals. And it was a night for senior guard Ed Davender to display his fine all-around talents. Throwing in 22 points, hauling down a team-high eight rebounds, and absolutely bringing the crowd to its feet with a perfect lob to freshman Leron Ellis. And when the fast break was there, Kentucky took advantage of it in big-time fashion. Rex Chapman here weaving his way in and out of traffic and looking for the open man. In this case, freshman Eric Manuel for a Kentucky basket. That was Tuesday night in the Soviet Nationals. Tonight, it's the Hawaii Rainbows. And tonight, it's for real. It's University of Kentucky Wildcat Basketball live from Rupp Arena in Lexington. The Wildcats season opener against the Rainbows of Hawaii. Tonight's game is sponsored in part by Bud Light. The light beer with the first name and taste. Everything else is just a light. By Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kentucky, the one you've always trusted for quality health care protection. By Flavor Rich. At Flavor Rich, we're proud of what we make. By Valvoline, high-performance motor oil. Valvoline because motor oil is not just motor oil. By Coca-Cola. In Kentucky, there are two great traditions, Coca-Cola Classic and the Cats. And by Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. And by First National Bank of Louisville, where you will find the UK Visa and MasterCard. And Hardee's. We're out to win you over. It's an illogical mix, Wildcats and Rainbows, but they come together tonight at Rupp Arena, the Kentucky Wildcats and the Hawaii Rainbows, to begin a new basketball season. Good evening, everyone. I'm Marty Brenneman, along with Larry Conley, before jam-packed Rupp Arena. Larry, it seems like the Cats go from one extreme to the other. Tuesday night, a tough Soviet team. Tonight, the Hawaii Ball Club in a game that a lot of people are calling a laugher. Well, Marty, yeah, but I'll tell you the thing about it is that they're going to get a little more domesticized after this game. They've got Cincinnati, they've got Louisville, and they've got Indiana. I think this is the type of game that Kentucky needs to have after a very punishing game against the Russians. I guess the coach can always find something to fault his ball club on. In this case, Tuesday night, Eddie Sutton was really not happy with the offensive movement. But I think the thing he was happy with was the fact that they played very good defense, and I think they did. He's coming off a good game in that realm. I think they're ready to play again tonight. Well, we're glad you're going to spend a part of a rainy Saturday night with us here at Rupp. We're also pleased to be working with Rob Bromley, who's with UK assistant James Dickey. Rob? Assistant coach James Dickey will give us a little insight now into the Hawaii offense, and first coach, something in their basic offense that they like to run. Rob, their basic set is a box set similar to what we would try to run. The entry pass goes into the wing. Their first look is inside to this block. If that's not open, the point man will then screen down for the postman away from the basketball, bringing him to the point position. This man will reverse the ball to the point, then screen down on ball side and what we call a down screen in this position here. If that's not open, then they'll swing the ball back to the weak side and initiate the offense from that point. Now, James, there's also an out-of-bounds play that they like to go with. Rob, they line four men across in the lane area with the basketball being taken out in this position. This man will step back to this area right here. They will screen here, here, and in this position, then try to lob the basketball over for a little short jumper in the lane. They try to get you to commit yourself toward the baseline so they can lob over the top. Thank you, Coach. Coming up at halftime, we'll bring you up to date on former Wildcat Rick Roby. And the starting lineups and the opening tip-off are coming up next, so stay with us. south we have our own kind of white christmas and flavor rich is happy to be part of it
Here's y'all from Flavor Rich. Testing, testing. Hi. Ah, cocologists. Wait, wait, waiting for the show? Uh-oh. I see the P word. So listen to this. Next time, reach for a Coke. Become a cocologist. What are you waiting for? Catch the wave. Help. This is Joe Hall. Win two season tickets to next year's UK basketball and a home entertainment center. Details and a Druthers coupon on 12-pack cans of Coca-Cola. Two years ago, this car was the most important thing in Joey's life. He spent every dime he had on it, even quit high school to get a job so he could have the hottest ride in town. Today, the job is gone, the car doesn't work anymore, and without a high school diploma, neither does Joey. Ashland Oil urges you to keep your children in school. It's the surest ride to success. Just about set to go here at Rupp Arena, and for the introduction of tonight's starting lineups, here's public address announcer Jim Engel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Rupp Arena, the home of the Kentucky Wildcats. And tonight's opening game between the University of Hawaii Rainbows and the University of Kentucky Wildcats. Let's meet the starting lineup for the University of Hawaii. At forward, number 23, a 6'7 junior from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Reggie Cross. At forward, number 25, a 6'9 junior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Billy Bowles. At center, number 44, a 6'9 junior from Littleton, Colorado, John Gabriel. At guard, number 11, a 6'0 sophomore from Seattle, Washington, Craig Murray. And at guard, number 12, 6'5 sophomore from Waterloo, Iowa, Chris Gay. The University of Hawaii is coached by Ronnie Wallace. And now let's meet the Kentucky Wildcats. At guard, number three, 6'4 sophomore from Owensboro, Kentucky, Rick Chapman. At forward, number 55, a 6'9 senior from Dawson, Georgia, Cedric Jenkins. At center, number 44, a 6'11 senior from Reedley, California, Rob Locke. At guard, number 15, a 6'2 senior from Brooklyn, New York, Ed Davenberg. And at forward, number 25, a 6'7 senior from Louisville, Kentucky, Winston Bennett. Now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the presentation of colors by the University of Kentucky. Well, we've had the starting lineups, the same lineup that Eddie Sutton started against the Soviet national team on Tuesday night that uh, led to a 75-72 victory. And we'll be back with the opening tip-off of tonight's game, the Kentucky Wildcats and the Hawaii Rainbows, right after this. This phone is going to ring. The person calling will be a banker with First National approving a loan. So what's the big deal? What's special is that the person who applied for the loan called this number on this same phone not 45 minutes ago. And if that doesn't surprise you, how about this? It's now 2.30 on a Saturday afternoon. If you need a loan, any loan, just pick up the phone. opener for the Kentucky Wildcats and in the 84 previous seasons a very very impressive opening record of 70 wins and 14 losses 
and taking on a Hawaii ball club that opened last night, dropping a 91-63 decision to the Commodores of Vanderbilt down in Nashville. As usual, we have officials, and as usual, they number three, Charlie Backup, Wally Tanner, and Gerald Boudreau. I would imagine, Larry Kiley, that Kentucky will try and come out, establish very early supremacy, because I know Eddie Sutton would like to get a chance to, if nothing else, give the youngsters, uh, namely Leron Ellis, Eric Manuel, and certainly son Sean Sutton, a lot more playing time than they got against the Soviets. Absolutely, and with the three games they've got coming up in the next uh, ten days, they need to get some experience for those young men, because they may be called on, Marty, in December, and they've got to be able to prove themselves. I think tonight would be a great opportunity for that. I, I think everyone around the state within the Commonwealth feels like this could be a very soft touch here tonight. But you never know because, as I said, down at Vanderbilt, they were only down by five with ten minutes left in that game in Nashville. Obviously, the final score was very, very misleading. Well, it really was. And uh, I was talking to uh, Coach Wallace this afternoon at their shoot-around, and he told me that they were in the ball game with ten minutes to go, and then all of a sudden, Vandy got about a 12-point run, and it was over. Well, it'll be Reggie Cross against Rob Locke to get this opening game of the 87-88 basketball season underway for the Kentucky Wildcats. And the tip goes to Rex Chapman at center court. He puts it in the hands of Ed Davender, who had the big night against the Soviet Union. That's Winston Bennett making his move against Cross. Chapman faked the jump shot, and it tipped away by Chris Gaines. Loose ball picked up by the Rainbows. Pretty good man-to-man -man defense there. They put the pressure on Chapman, slapped it away, and it went into the hands of the Rainbows. Now they've got it for their first trip. Sophomore Craig Murray, the point guard, and good defense by Ed Davender forces a rainbow turnover. I guess Ed Davender says, you can show us defense, we'll show you a little bit of ours. So both ball clubs have had a possession. Both teams have turned it over, and now Kentucky will try again as Murray picks up Davender at center court. Well, they take a look at the stack offense. They run down low down there, and they flare Chapman out, and they got the ball inside the lock. And they got it in. He sure did. I think with a little bit of help from John Gabriel, too, I think he got more of that ball than Locke did. So Locke gets credited with a field goal, and Kentucky takes a 2-0 lead. 48 seconds into it. Steal by Chapman. Knocked away. Got it back. Spins. Tries to save it. And it's loose underneath. The basket cut by Ben. What a weird start to a game. Yes, sir. 4-0 Kentucky as the Cats drop back on defense. I think everybody touched that thing on the floor except the officials. Chris Gaines, Gabriel, looping it inside. Billy Bowles in heavy traffic, and he's going to get a couple of free shots as he's foul going up. Marty, in talking with uh, Coach Sutton yesterday, uh, I was sitting in on their shooting practice. And he was, he was very complimentary of the way they've been playing on defense. as evidence early on here. Let's watch underneath as they commit the foul right here. Good movement, good ball move by Hawaii to get the ball on the inside. And Billy Bold's a pretty strong player, probably one of the better players they've got on this Hawaii club. In fact, they don't have a whole lot of players and numbers anyway. No, they've got only eight players total on their club and only five scholarship players. I think that's something that obviously Eddie Sutton can empathize with when you look back to last year when he had a total of only eight players on scholarship on his ball club. So first-year coach Riley Wallace really will suffer to some extent this season. Bowles, a, a junior out of Philadelphia and a transfer from Seminole Junior College. Riley Wallace brought him from Seminole where he coached. Rex Chapman taken out of the lineup early and apparently was shaken up on that glory underneath the basket. Meanwhile, Bowles misses both, and Kentucky will try to add to a 4-0 lead. As Eric Manuel, the freshman in the lineup, a whistle stops play, and the foul is going to be called on Billy Bowles. Marty, they set that stack offense down inside like that, and what they'll do is flare the guard out, and in that case, it's Manuel on the left side, and it leaves it open underneath for either Jenkins or Locke. Locke got the ball the last trip down the floor. This time, Jenkins jump shot from the outside or a, a pass to the inside, and that time they got the foul. Davender handles out front. He's matched up against Chris Gaines, and the star of the Hawaii ball club, Gaines, playing with a growing pull, which he's had for quite some time, so I don't think we're going to see the Chris Gaines tonight that people will probably see in a matter of a weeks to a month. An outstanding young talent. That's Craig Murray, however, with a ball. And Dabber matches him step for step. Loose ball. It'll be saved by Bennett. And he'll take it to the hoop and put up the springer off the glass. Tip by lock. No good. Rob battling for possession. Head faking. Put it up and in. Good strong power move by the youngster from California. That's the way you play that game. And Larry, he is picking up tonight right where he left off against the Soviet Union. He was very, very impressive. 
I've got a theory about why I think he's playing so much more aggressively this year than last year, and I'll tell you later on. Okay. Billy Bowles from 15, and it snakes its way through for the first Hawaii score. They're down by 4-6-2. 17-35 to go in the first half. Kentucky broke out in front 6-0. Bowles hits the jump shot. The rainbows are on the board. All right, Chapman went to the dressing room to take care of that injury. I'm not sure what it was. As soon as we find out, we'll pass it along. Baseline jump shot on the way by Manuel. Too strong. Tried to follow his own missed shot. And John Gabriel rebounds for Hawaii. Boy, what great weather this ball club came into when they rolled into Lexington today out of Nashville, Tennessee. Rainy all day long in this part of the country. Hawaii turns it over again. Davender looping, lock reversing, and hitting. You know, the pass just wasn't high enough for the jam. He caught it, brought it down, stayed under control, and went to the other side. I don't know what Reggie Cross was thinking about a few minutes ago for Hawaii. It looked like he was trying to throw the ball out there to Gerald Boudreau. He doesn't play for Hawaii. He <laughs> plays with the black and white stripe guys. Things are getting out of hand for Riley Wallace. We'll be back in just a moment. No one in America sells more vehicles than number one, your Ford dealer. And to celebrate, he's having a number one sales drive on all his 87 and brand new 88 cars. Now get free factory air conditioning or free automatic transmission on specially equipped Ford Escorts, America's number one selling car. Or save over $700 on a specially equipped Ford Taurus, America's number one selling midsize car. Plus, there's even factory to dealer cash incentives that can be passed on to you for additional savings. All where quality is standard, your Ford dealer. Oh, Mom looking late? Right. Uh-oh. Dad, Mom doesn't do it that way. So, what would Mom do? Parties. Children's meals. Okay. In the car. You're the boss. Now at Hardee's, you can get a 24-page Little Little Golden Book in every children's meal box. Be sure and collect all four. Pretty good, huh? Just like Mom. <laughs> the Little Little Golden Book children's meal at Hardee's. There's been some question about the correct pronunciation of this sensible new import. Psst. It rhymes with Sunday. Drive a new 87 Topaz for only $95.95. Every 87 Topaz in stock, only $95.95. Hurry, the cars with the most equipment will be the first to go. Bluegrass Lincoln Mercury, across from Bluegrass Isuzu. 8-2, Kentucky leading Hawaii as Riley Wallace called a Hawaii timeout. We've got the report from the dressing room on Rex Chapman. He suffered a cut on his chin, which will apparently require stitches. So Chapman, Larry, obviously will be out of the lineup for at least a little while. And obviously it's going to give an opportunity to Eric Manuel to get in a little bit of playing time today. Let's watch this play again. Ed Davender in the corner, lobs the ball to lock right here. Watch himself. He's not under good enough control to get it up. He takes it to the other side and lays it in, and that's one of three field goals he's had in six attempts so far. We won't see a lot of substituting tonight for Hawaii. We mentioned only eight players have dressed out. This group right now will have to be Iron Men, so to speak. Greg Murray looking for Chris Gaines, and Manuel doing quite a defensive job on him. Loose ball. Gabriel picks it up. He goes to the hole and was decked underneath, but they're going to call a charging foul against John Gabriel of Hawaii. Only because we had the angle do I think that Mr. Tanner missed that call. <laughs> we were lined up perfectly with that call, and it looked like it might have been a blocking call, but from the, where, the position he was in, and I'm sure on the other side underneath there, Riley Wallace from Hawaii would agree with us. You gotta make the call. It's either block or charge, and he called the charge. Davender to backline colleague Eric Manuel. Mike Scott now in the Kentucky lineup. The young man out of South Shore, Kentucky. Good pass. Inside Manuel. Excellent pass. Well, what a good look by Bennett in there. A good cut by Manuel on the other side. Got him free. And a good look inside and pass by Bennett. And Kentucky builds the lead to 8 at 10 to 2. 16.08 to go in the first half as the Cats officially open the new season. A steal by Manuel. Will he jam it? He will. Pass a message on to Rex that everything is in good hands. At the moment, in extremely good hands, and this freshman out of Macon, Georgia. Five turnovers so far for Hawaii. Again, severe defensive heat being applied by the Cats. Gabriel tries to lose Mike Scott, cannot do it. 
Well, Kentucky doing a great job on their defense. Good overplay, good help away from the ball. They've got the man tied up. Just excellent, good man-to-man -man defense. Here's Chris Gaines throwing up an air ball. Gabriel on the other side, and Mike Scott got him for a couple of shots. Larry, interesting that that Eddie Sutton would go this early in this game to Mike Scott, a young man who did not play one second against the Soviets. Well, he committed a big error right there. You never let the offensive player get the inside on a shot like that, and he did. Of course, Gabriel was in great position. Now, watch him get in there. Scott on the back of him right here. Comes up and over the backside. Gabriel uh, just missed a three-point opportunity. Gabriel, a little John Colorado Jr., had a good night against Vanderbilt last evening. 15.7 rebounds. Goes from the slopes to the beaches, huh? I'm telling you. 12 to 4 the score. Gavin are on the move, and they whistle, and apparently a Kentucky foul off of the ball. Going to be on Bennett. On a Winston blocking Bennett call. gets his first personal and team foul number three against the Cats. Yeah, I was watching Kentucky run their uh, offensive phases of the game yesterday. Boy, they really set some tough screens. I mean, hard-nosed tough screens. And to get around them, you've really got to fight. Well, there were interesting practices. I saw the morning session. You saw the afternoon session. And yesterday morning, Eddie Sutton, during the scrimmage, working solely on movement offensively. Five-second count goes against Hawaii, and they turn it over again. That's the seventh turnover against the University of Hawaii. In less than five minutes. Yeah. Watch the stack offense now. Jenkins breaks up top. Scott breaks up top. Bennett looking inside to Mike Scott. Gives to Manuel. Watch him turn the ball. Turn Davinder, the ball. Davinder holding. Off the pick. It's Bennett. He gets his own rebound and did not get the roll. The tip fail. He'll try a third time. And the third time's a charm. Kentucky working on the boards as they did against the Russians. But taking advantage against a, an extremely small University of Hawaii team. That foul goes against John Gabriel, his second. And the biggest man on the Rainbows Club at 6 feet 9 inches tall, already bordering on early game foul trouble with a quick two. Kentucky has nine rebounds, eight of them offensively. Bennett already with a couple of field goals. He only shot the ball four times against the Soviet Union without a hit. Although it was 9 out of 14 from the free throw line and already tonight with five points. Steal by Manuel. He is very quick, Larry. Very, very quick. Good pressure by Jenkins and Bennett to get that turnover. Ball hit the top, they get it back. Riley Wallace up and off the Hawaii bench. The night Rainbow's turnover. And this game, at least in the first five and a half minutes, going pretty much the way everyone thought it would. Kentucky leading 17 to 4. 19 to 4. Eight points off the bench for Eric Manuel, and he's four out of five from the floor. Doesn't bode well for those folks in the Southeastern <laughs> Conference, does it? Not a little bit. <laughs> Gabriel. Good defense by Mike Scott. Craig Murray. Puts it on the floor, gets a pick from Reggie Cross, and now they set up again. Well, good foot movement, good leg movement by this entire Kentucky team. They're good over. They just beat the five-second count. Blocked by Jenkins. Foul by Mike Scott or Eric Manuel. I'll tell you, on defense, Kentucky, they throw a crowd up wherever the basketball might be. A lot of white jerseys surrounded. <laughs> Watch it again. Jenkins here. This is after the first block. He starts back up again, and Manuel gets him on the arm. Looks like we got a wholesale substitution. Well, Eddie Sutton promised yesterday at practice this would happen early. And he is true to his word. Derek Miller, Sean Sutton, Reggie Hansen, Richard Madison, and Leron Ellis. A brand new ball club on the floor with Kentucky leading 19 to 4. Well, we know these young men won't be red-shirted. <laughs> no. Speaking of that subject, apparently an announcement will come after the game from Eddie Sutton. And, of course, the speculation has been for weeks now that three would be redshirted. John Pelfrey, Darren Feldhaus, and Jonathan Davis. But apparently the announcement will come after the conclusion of tonight's ballgame. 
On the line to shoot for the Rainbows will be sophomore Chris Gaines. We mentioned what a great freshman year he had in Honolulu. He was a fourth-team freshman All-American. Set a freshman scoring record at that institution. Uh, a record, by the way, that had been held by a former NBA, or Reggie Carter. Gaines averaged 17.1 points a game last year. You know, what's interesting about this young man, he was the player of the year in the state of Iowa when he was a senior in high school. The, the obvious question, why Hawaii? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> if you had your life to live over again. No, no, <laughs> it would have been here. <laughs> I should have known that, you had it too good. Ron Ellis, a personal foul, is first. Good chance now for these other uh, young men to get in and get to play a little bit of basketball. I'm anxious to see Sutton and Miller play a little bit out here, too. Here's Derek Miller, three-point attempt. Rim the iron and unable to control it at the end line, Billy Bowles. You know, a lot of people who may not be familiar with the, uh, the WAC conference, uh, it is the conference that Wyoming is in, along with New Mexico. Wyoming is one of those clubs that really, I think, is going to be a surprise at the end of the year. Benny Dees has gone out there and taken a club and has Finnis Dembo, that I think is a great player. And they're in that league, and Hawaii is very familiar with everybody in that league. I think the basketball public discovered Fennis Dembo in the NCAA tournament last year. You might have read about him, a team that did not get a whole lot of television exposure. That's going to change to some degree this season. I'll tell you, for a club that has all the problems as Kentucky goes into a zone that Hawaii has had, they play a very imposing schedule. I don't think Riley Wallace, had he been the coach last year, Frank Arnold was until he went there, would have scheduled Vanderbilt, Kentucky, back-to-back. Three-point Three attempt and a success story for Chris, uh, Greg Murray. It's 19-9 now as the Rainbows pull it within 10, and Rex Chapman is back on the U.K. bench. Sean Sutton arresting the dribble, finding Derek Miller inside. Five pass. How about that? Good pass by Sean Sutton. Good cut by Miller to get open on the baseline. 21-9, UK. Nobody back. And Billy Bowles takes advantage of it with his second field goal. That will not bring a smile to the face of Eddie Sutton. 21-11 as he was pointing to Ellis. He said, it's your responsibility. You get back. Here's Sutton in the lane, running one hand or two strong. LeRon Ellis, bank shot, put it in. That will be the first of many in that young man's career. I would certainly think so. He was so very, very impressive in preseason practice. A unanimous high school All-American last year. And a young man who a lot of people think will be a starter by the time the month of January rolls around. But Rob Locke, I'm sure, has other ideas based on the way we saw him play against the Soviets and the way he has started out here tonight. Interesting, the second group getting into this 2-3 zone here. The first group is out there playing such a hard, tough, no, hard-nosed man-to-man defense. This group is going with a very passive zone defense. This is the versatility of this club. Eddie Sutton works on a lot of different things in practice. He feels like now he'd like to work on his 2-3 zone. He's got a, what, a 12-point lead right now, 11-point, 12-point lead. Chance to do that. John Gabriel sitting down. Mo Brockhoff, a sophomore from Essen, West Germany, is now in the Hawaii lineup. Chris Gaines, dogged by Derek Miller. Brockhoff handles for the first time. And Hawaii doing its level best to work some time off the clock. That time they were just able to get it off. And here's Derek Miller. 23 Kentucky, 11 Hawaii. 11 minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the first half. Madison putting it in the hands of Sean Sutton. Reggie Hansen inside turnaround by Ellis. He did not get the roll, but he drew the foul. A little off balance when he took that shot. He got up in the air, and I think he didn't realize where he was in front of the basket there. It was a good pass by Hanson inside. Watch Hanson make the good dish in there. There's Ellis turning around, looking at the basket. He was in a bad, almost, uh, he was kind of twisted underneath. Couldn't get himself turned around looking at the basket. You can see the off balance shot right here. Ellis with a field goal off the bench, on the line for a couple.
Cash did not shoot them all that well against the Soviet Union. 28 for 44 from the foul line and only a 36 plus percent accuracy from the field. But they won that ball game on the strength of strong defense and outstanding rebound. And here come some fresh bodies back in for the Wildcats. Ed Davender, Rex Chapman, Winston Bennett, Cedric Jenkins joining Ellis and he will be replaced momentarily by Rob Locke and check the chin out of one Rex Chapman. Now we want to congratulate Rex's dad, Wayne, who is coaching the defending Division II NCAA champion Kentucky Wesleyan team down in Owensboro. They beat the number one ranked team in Division II last night in St. Michael's in the Executive Rivermont Classic uh, down in Owensboro and tonight playing Jacksonville State. Of course, you know playing in Owensboro, it's yeah. not a big advantage at all. <laughs> Turnover number 10 against Hawaii. Rob Locke takes this occasion to check back into the Kentucky lineup. And he will replace Leron Ellis. One final comment about Rex's dad. He was a great player, Marty. He really was. He was here at Kentucky, transferred to Western Kentucky, and helped them win a number of games down there for the Hilltop. Well, he's obviously an outstanding coach. He replaced a very popular coach down there, Mike Polio, when Mike left to go to Virginia Commonwealth, and bingo, he wins a national championship. Meanwhile, Sun Rex knocks one in from three-point territory. I don't know if there's a better guard in the country that squares up, gets the shot off quicker than he does, and is more accurate. 26 to 11, Kentucky with a 15-point lead. Hawaii had gotten to within 10, and the Cats spurt in front by 15, and it is now 26-13 on the two-pointer. Underline a two-pointer by Chris Gaines. He has scored four points, 26-13, Kentucky. Would have been fun to see Gaines play at full speed, full strength. Oh, yes. Davender looping inside the lock. Cross court. Bennett with a head fake. Rockoff not going for it. And wants to go right back to Rob Locke, which he does. The screen set, but no shot. Locke, turnaround, jump shot. Nice pass by Ed Davender. Eight first half points for the senior from Reedley, California, Rob Locke, who had... 14 points and seven rebounds against the Soviet Union. 28-13, Kentucky. Buddy, I'll tell you why I think he's playing more aggressively this year. I was alluding to this earlier. I think it's simply because he now has someone on the bench that he feels comfortable with that can come in and replace him when he gets tired. There's Rex Chapman in the gym. Last year, they didn't have that. They didn't have anybody that could step in behind him and play the way he played. So he felt he had to stay in the game and maybe didn't play as aggressively. You're going to see a different Rob Locke this year. Another point, though, Larry, don't you think that he is being pushed so much this season, whereas he really wasn't last year in terms of a threat to take away a starting position? Nothing like a little competition. Great bounce pass by Jack with the left hand of Bennett on the left side. Winston Bennett has scored seven points, and Riley Wallace, the first-year coach, well, the University of Hawaii said, wait a minute, it's time to circle the wagons, time out. 8.43 remaining in the half, Kentucky 32, Hawaii 13. We'll when Hawaii found out that Long John Silvers is offering four Norman Rockwell mugs for the holidays for just 99 cents apiece, who do you think was first in line? Bingo. This holiday season, come in for your Rockwell mugs and get another great classic. Long John Silver's Shrimp, Fish, and Chicken Dinner for the low holiday price of just $3.99. Long John Silver's. And uh, don't forget your mugs. Ask for Bud Light. Come on out. A light beer with the first name and taste. Let me know when you're ready for another round. Because everything else is just a light. <laughs> I want to talk to you about your shocks. At Big O, we have extra care. Now, extra care means our ASC certified technicians will check your shocks or struts, inspect your brakes along with the vehicle's alignment and lubrication. We then give you a written evaluation and estimate the cost before any work begins. Extra care also means using only warranted parts on every job. Get the extra care you deserve.
Big O is much more than a tire store. 32-13, Kentucky, 8.43 to go in the first half. It's been a great breakaway for the Kentucky Wildcats, and the Radisson Hotel here in Lexington is offering a great getaway, guaranteed to take the chill off the winter weather. Receive deluxe accommodations and a complimentary continental breakfast, all for just $59. To put some sunshine in your life, call 1-800-333-3333 and ask for the great winter adventure. I guess you can win a lot of ball games shooting 57.1%, can't you? I'll tell you what, you win a lot of games taking that number of shots compared to your opponents. Right now, Kentucky 15 of 26 for 57%. And on the other side, Hawaii 4 of 8 for 50%. Eight shots, you can attribute a lot of that to great defense. Absolutely. Good man-to-man -man defense, and they've come back with pressure again now. Here's Rex Chapman out on top against... Chris now let's see if the Rainbows will benefit from a 60-second lecture from Coach Riley Wallace. Mo Brockhoff intercepted by Davenport. Three on two break and kicked out of bounds by Brockhoff. He broke up the, the fast break for the Kentucky Wildcats. And they will retain possession. Chapman will act as a trigger man. I came out on the other side. Hawaii trying to break a 10-game losing streak. They lost their last nine games in 86-87. And tack on last night's 91-63 loss in Nashville to Vanderbilt. And they've gone to a 2-3 zone. Ever notice Winston Bennett fakes before every shot? He always gives you a little pump fake before he takes it up. I think if Rob Locke might have gotten away with a foul there. He was holding off. Billy Bowles with his left arm while trying to gain possession of the ball, and Kentucky has turned it over now four times. Kentucky straight man-to-man. -man. Locke tried for the steal and missed it. Gabriel from 12. And he, he got, got the roll. Four points for John Gabriel. His first field goal, 32-15 Kentucky. 17-point lead as we head to the final seven and a half of first-half play. Got it again with that fake. Oftentimes when you're playing a zone defense, a ball fake really helps, Marty. Kind of like getting a counter play in football. You get the defense leaning one way, and then you move the ball the other way. Well, that head fake is something that Dean Smith teaches religiously. Greg Murray over the timeline. Davender with him. Leron Ellis will check in at the next opportunity, by the way, for Kentucky. Gabriel, baseline to Gaines. Fade away over Chapman. Pressure's let up a little bit. Kentucky not playing as good defensively as they were in the first five or six minutes. Four unanswered points for Hawaii, and with the way this game has been going, that's a, a major upset. 32-17, catch by 15. Bennett checked on the end line by Brockhoff. Davender Jenkins. Chapman for three. He has his second of the night. Did you notice he doesn't fake? No, he just goes up. It goes straight up. Square it up and knock it down. Eight points here in the half for Chapman. Two three-pointers and one deuce. 35-17, give and go underneath. Good pass to Bowles. Chapman made a pretty good defensive play, but he got him. You know, he got his hand hung up in the net. And I think that's what caused him to foul. He, he lost his balance and came across the guy's arm after he hit the net. Let's watch it and see if, in fact, that did happen. There's a good pass right there all the way across the other side. Got his hand hung up in the net, and he grabbed the arm just as he was coming down. Watch it from up top. Chapman right there, making the move across. Got his finger right in the edge of that net right there, and then he got twisted around and came down and got him on the arm. Billy Bowles on the free throw line. He's been there once tonight and missed on both attempts. He scores his fifth point. <laughs> 35 to 19, Kentucky in front. Ed Davender, Rex Chapman, Winston Bennett, Leron Ellis back on the Kentucky front line joining Rob Locke. And the Rainbows are going to stay in that zone defense. Bennett shooting over it. Good position inside by Mo Brockoff against the taller Ellis and Locke, and it's out of bounds to Hawaii. You know, Brockoff has an interesting first name. It's Moritz Klein with a hyphen in between. I think it's easier to say Mo. Yes. Apparently, a lot of other folks do, too, because that's what we were told he's, he's known by. Played on the West German Junior Olympic team this past summer. You know, we're becoming linguistic experts. Oh, Russian I'm and Polynesian you. here. I mean, we just amaze ourselves. 
That's 14 turnovers. Interesting statistical note. Kentucky has outscored Hawaii 15 to nothing after turnovers. That is another reason why the Cats have a 35-19 lead with just under six minutes remaining in the first half. Pace of the game has slowed significantly right now. Kentucky seems to be content to move the basketball and use their zone offense against this defense. There's their zone offense. Short got his own rebound. He lost it as he started toward the basket. A whistle stops play, and they'll go the other way with it. I think any coach, I don't care what level he's coaching on, loves to see a player follow his own missed shot because it is a rare commodity in this game of basketball as it's played today. You really don't see that many players go after their own shots. Marty, you will never see it in a professional game. Right. They are taught after the shot to run out. The defender is. Whoever the guy is that they're guarding who shoots, he takes off and goes to the other end and forces pressure on the shooter to get back. Kentucky's defense picking up a little bit now. A little more pressure. Gains for three. Inside the strong rebound by Winston Bennett. Manuel wanted the pass. He was a little ahead of the field. Good pass to Rob Locke. And he was fouled inside by Billy Bowles. But credit Ed Davender with an outstanding pass. I think he had Manuel, but he wanted a little bit better one. And he got Locke breaking on the baseline. Ed Davender handles the basketball as well as any guard in the country. He passed on Manuel, went to Locke on a bullet pass to the baseline. He got it up, and Locke drew the foul. Watch it from up top. This is the end of it right here. As Locke starts up, you'll see him fouled on the arm. He'll go to the line and shoot two. We mentioned Manuel. He has replaced Rex Chapman. Locke has scored nine. He is the leading Kentucky scorer, but by virtue of the score, he's had a whole lot of help. Chapman with eight. Eric Manuel has scored eight points. Winston Bennett with seven. And Locke is in double figures. Kentucky has a 37 to 19 lead. Their biggest lead was 19 with eight and a half minutes remaining here in the half. We've got 5.05 to go right now. Craig Murray off to John Gabriel. Chris Gaines, hobble with that groin pull. He whips Manuel, got the step, and all Eric could do was commit the foul. You know, Gaines is a smart player. He had Manuel, he got him in a crossover step and went down the middle. Luck came to help, but when he got by him, all he did was just push him as he went by. Watch the hand right there. See him grabbing? All that is, Marty, is simply not moving your feet. If Eric Manuel simply just moves his two, two steps to the left, he doesn't have that problem. But he didn't move his feet. He We've got a ground. timeout to go in the first half. 4.55 showing on the clock. So far, it has been all Kentucky in front 37-19. Stay with us. If you had all the experience of yesterday, the skill and innovation of today, you couldn't lose. Edwin Moses, USA. In the world of custom vans, a superior van is like no other. Because Cook and Reeves Superior Van is like no other custom van dealer in the world. They carefully custom build each van. Fully service every van they sell. Maintain a million dollar inventory for your selection. With unique features and distinctive paint that make their vans truly superior. If you want a van like no other, you'll find it at Cook and Reeves Superior Van. Like no other custom van dealer in the world. After you decide to buy a home, after you decide where you want to live, and after you find the house that you love and finally agree that this is everything you want, after you do all of that, you'll more than likely need help with the financing. You'll need a loan. Well, we can't help you decide what you like, but we can help you with a loan you can live with or the house you can't live without. 719 Kentucky over Hawaii as we remind you this broadcast is authorized under broadcasting rights granted by the University of Kentucky Athletics Association through host communication solely for the entertainment of our viewing audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this game without the express written consent of host communications is prohibited. The announcers for this telecast are employees of host communications and have been selected with the approval of the University of Kentucky. 
Just got a quick shot of Joe B. Hall sitting there enjoying this game. He doesn't have that churning in the stomach he used to have sitting over there. No, he there. probably sleeps a whole lot better right yes. now. That's a fourth quarter score, by the way. Eastern Kentucky leading Western 27 to 17. So, so far, all of Kentucky's guards are 8 of 12 for 67%. That is not just Davender and Chapman, but the entire guard core. And here's that uh, offensive set off the inbounds play that James Dickey was going over in the pregame with Rob Bromley, although the Cats were wise to it. Contact, charge, says the official. Nice position by Leron Ellis that time. He got himself squared up, took the charge, and Kentucky will get the basketball back. 17 fouls now against the Rainbows and the third against Reggie Cross. Every foul called against Hawaii is a premium because of the few number of bodies that are at the disposal of one Riley Wallace. Rob Locke turns, put it up, and put it in. A dozen for Rob Locke. So that's the biggest lead Kentucky has enjoyed. 20 points, 39-19. And Locke, like everybody else, has been simply outstanding from the floor. He has hit, uh, what, five out of eight shots? And he'll pick up a personal foul on the defensive end. Ball bounced around on the inside in there, and a lot of Kentucky players had their hands on it and couldn't come up with it. Larry, you talked earlier about this game as we look at, at that uh, foul against Rob Locke one more time, as opposed to what is in the immediate future for Kentucky. The competition gets a little bit more imposing beginning Tuesday night with the Cincinnati Bearcats. Well, it's, it, as, as it's referred to by one writer here locally, it's called the Bermuda Triangle. And I, <laughs> and I think it's a pretty good description of it because with Indiana and Louisville and Kentucky and the tradition of those basketball programs and the way they've been playing recently, I tell you, to have to go up against that group, uh, it doesn't uh, hurt you too badly to have to play a club like Hawaii and kind of get ready for that. Six points for Gabriel, 39 to 21. Hey, we don't know a whole lot about that game Tuesday night either. You and I are going to be here for the Bearcats may have something waiting in the winds up there. Well, Tony Yates had all those Proposition 48 casualties who are now eligible to play, and the folks up in Cincinnati feel like it's going to be a, a more enjoyable basketball season, and uh, we'll get a chance to see that club on Tuesday night here. 41-21. Locke continues to score. All right, good pressure again. Manuel doing a nice job on Gaines out front. Chapman a good job on the other side. Manuel recovers to pick Gaines up. Brockhoff tried to set the pick. No problem for Manuel. That's Brockhoff with the ball. Baseline for Chris Gaines. The fadeaway is up and good. I'll tell you what, he's putting a clinic on for Manuel right now. Just took him to the inside earlier. Now took him back to the corner and got a good jumper over him. Well, what better way for the young man to learn how it is done on this such high visibility collegiate level as Leron Ellis answers at the other end with his second field goal. That's what you like to see a 6'11 man do. Take a strong, aggressive move to the basket. Don't kick the ball back out. Eddie Sutton the other day in practice was complaining about his big men not being strong inside. Boy, right there, Leron Ellis will show you how to take it up on the inside. Good move across the lane. 20 points is the spread as Ellis tries to add to it. And he does. 44 to 23 with 3.18 on the clock. Murray runs the loose ball down. Chapman back to pick him up. Here's Gaines starting on the baseline. And uh, he takes Eric Manuel to school one more time. Put it on the drawing board, teacher, and show me how it's done. <laughs> he got Manuel again. And that's the third foul on Manuel, which will necessitate a, a substitution by Eddie Sutton. He will bring Ed Davender back to the lineup, and Manuel will sit down for the final 3.15. You know, Marty, oftentimes when you have a young man come out of high school, he's usually the star if he comes to a major college program like Kentucky. And in most cases, they end up playing zone defenses, or they don't play a whole lot of defense when they're high school players. There are very few what I would consider good high school coaches who really concentrate on defense. And possibly that's what's happened to Manuel. He's come from a program where he's not been work, not had a lot of uh, teaching in defense. But I can tell you one thing, this man's sitting over on that bench over there to oh, teach yeah. him how to play. They spell defense down here with a capital D. 18 and 11 last year, and that season, while maybe not what a lot of Kentucky fans had hoped it would be, was based largely on good defense by this Kentucky ball club, and 
Now, of course, with increased depth this season, better overall talent, naturally the expectations are much, much higher. And it's really not a knock on the high school coaches for teaching defense. It's just often you only have one or two stars to work with, and you want to make sure they're the ones getting the points, and you've got to have some effort placed on that offensive end. They work it around on the outside. Now it goes high to Bennett, Chapman. The ball movement. For a chink in the armor. Take Baseline, it. Baseline, Madison. Ball slapped around, picked up by Chapman. Good switch off by Brockoff. And now Murray has him again. Davender for three. Locke got a hand on it. Bennett and Brockoff bang as they try for the ball. And the men in green come front court. Good pass inside. The reverse layup will not count a traveling violation. Nice pass by Reggie Cross on the baseline to Gabriel, and that is a 15th turnover. Make that number 16 against Hawaii. I thought the last trip down the floor, Richard Madison passed up an awfully easy shot. He's going to have to take that six or eight foot shot on the baseline there. Bennett strip. Foul. It'll go against Mo Brockoff. Mike Scott comes back in for the second time tonight, replacing Rob Locke, who leaves, no doubt, not to return until the second half with a, a total of 14 points. Very active inside. Yeah, an interesting visit today with Tommy Yoshida, who is the SID for Hawaii, and got a little bit of a history lesson. He was telling me that this school was founded in 1906, and they actually fielded their first basketball team in 1914. It's their seventh, 75th year of basketball at Hawaii. It's been around for a while. Huh? Only thing is, they didn't play in the United States until 1938. That would make a difference, yes. Well, it's a large school, 19,700 students. But recruiting is a major problem. Seemingly, it has been for any coach who uh, has been the head man at that school. Larry mentioned Frank Arnold abruptly leaving. He left to take an assistant coach's job at Arizona. And really, the main reason was, well, a, a couple of things. One, how difficult it is to recruit kids to come from the mainland and play basketball there. And he was very outspoken against the lack of coaching ability at the high school level in Hawaii. Kentucky starting to pick it up defensively now. And Gabriel, he finds an opening and scores. He's knocked at eight points. 25-27. Pretty, nice. Pretty good move right there by the Rainbows to get that ball to the inside to great Gabriel because Kentucky applied a lot of pressure. 90 seconds remaining in the first half. Bennett again with that ever-present head fake to Richard Madison. They leave him open and he throws a brick up. It's picked off by Craig Murray. Davinder again, right out on top. He's going to pick up Craig Murray right there and stay with him. Well, Davinder does such a great job on defense. He really puts the pressure on him. Oh, He's strong on the bounce by Reggie Cross. Out of bounds, Hawaii keeping it. And now Derek Miller coming back in. Yeah, it's interesting that Hawaii has out-rebounded Kentucky 15-12. to 12. Yeah, but uh, what about all those shots went in that there was no rebound to get? So Bennett is out, Derek Miller is in, and they line up as the ball goes inbounds to cross. He has been very, very quiet here in the first half. Brockhoff with a good spinning move toward the basket, and he scored for the first time. And an excellent pass by Chris Gaines to get the ball to him. So if nothing else, the Rainbows are making the score a bit more respectable here in the final minute of the half. They trail by 16. Another violation off the ball, and this foul goes against Richard Madison for trying to clear out. And he could do that very easily. I mean, he could just go through there and clean out that whole lane. Well, foul number one on Madison gives the ball right back to Hawaii. And let's see if Watch we it again. It You're going to see it on the right side right here. Watch him come up in here and just kind of clear it out. There it is. Yep. Throws the elbow. Good job by Gerald Boudreau to pick up the foul. Rockoff rolls it in for his third point. I got to give those officials a lot of credit because I'll hear from Dad if I don't, right? 
Yeah, I, you know, I, you bring up a good point. You have labored under a lot of pressure in your great career as a basketball analyst. Every time you might say something just remotely negative, George would be on you like a cat on a June bug. It's interesting Hawaii stays in this 2-3 zone defense. Kentucky is going to sit up in a 1-4. They've got a chance to take the last shot of the first half, and I assume that's what they're going to do. Shot clock is off. 24, 23 seconds to go in the half. 45, 30 cats. Rex Chapman looking down at the other end as he eyes the clock. Now plays it off to Davender. And the three-pointer by Derek Miller. He threw up an air ball. The follow goes by Chapman. I would assume that Mr. Miller will hear from Mr. Sutton at halftime about that one. Two seconds, one second, three-pointer by Gaines, and a long bomb by Chris Gaines. So the Hawaii Rainbows end the first half on a very high note. They were down by as many as 20. But here at the break, bolstered on the three-point shot by Gaines, it's Kentucky 47, Hawaii 33. We'll be back. Peters Construction is proud to bring you University of Kentucky Sports. The state of Kentucky is growing with new industry, new commercial projects, and new public works projects. Since 1946, Peters Construction has been growing with Kentucky. Peters Construction is a multifaceted corporation, constructing new swimming pools for Lexington and Fayette County, building a new state highway, and additions to hospitals. Peters Construction, serving Kentucky and surrounding states from Owensboro and Lexington. Drive, discipline, determination. The Kentucky Wildcats winning tradition. A tradition we share at Kroger. This week at Kroger, score with cost cutter savings on a great variety of post cereals. Look for cost cutter prices on all your favorites, including post raisin bran, super golden crisp honeycomb, and more. All this week at Kroger. Score with cost cutter savings. Go Cats, go Kroger. -y. To look at these cards, you'd think the University of Kentucky was getting in the credit card business. Well, they are, sort of. Now, First National Bank is offering special Visa and MasterCards that make automatic contributions to university programs every time you use them. Apply at First National for your University of Kentucky Visa or MasterCard. Supporting UK is just that easy. In this reconstituted, freeze-dried, pre-mixed world of ours, it's hard to find a breakfast that's totally made from scratch. Syrup on that? Well, at Hardee's, our biscuits are made just that way, with no shortcuts like some other guys use. But then that's probably why they taste so good. And why at Hardee's, we can truly say, we're out to win you over. Tonight's game is being sponsored in part by Ashland Oil. We care about you in everything we do. By Long John Silver Seafood Shops. Long John sounds good to me. By Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. By Kentucky Ford Dealers. Have you driven a Ford lately? And by Post Cereals. Look for our new Ziploc packs. And by First National Bank of Louisville, where you'll find a UK Visa MasterCard. And Hardee's. We're out to win you over. Welcome back to Rupp Arena, where the Kentucky Wildcats are leading the Rainbows of Hawaii here at halftime by 14 points. It is Kentucky 47, Hawaii 33. Although the Wildcats were his head by as many as 20 here in the first half, Hawaii coming up with a burst of momentum just before halftime. We're going to remember some of the better moments in Kentucky basketball history as we go along throughout the season. And, of course, this will mark the 10th anniversary of Kentucky's 1978 National Championship, the last national title that the Cats won. A member of that squad, All-American Rick Roby. A Roby is through playing basketball now, and he's now living right back in Lexington. The year was 1978, and Kentucky was gunning for the NCAA title. The Cats were led by four seniors, Jack Givens, James Lee, Mike Phillips, and Rick Roby. In the championship game, Kentucky defeated Duke, 94-88. I think now I look back on it uh, 10 years, 
it means so much more to me than when it uh, happened at that time. And uh, I guess uh, hopefully 10 years from now, I look back and uh, it'll even be a bigger thing in my life. It was uh, an unbelievable feeling. It, uh, all the pressures uh, and all the anxious moments, it was just a big release. And uh, you walked off the court and you finally achieved the goal that you wanted to achieve uh, when we came here uh, four years ago. After a career in the NBA, Roby is back in Lexington. And he's now in the restaurant business, Bristol's Bar and Grill, located in Chevy Chase Plaza. Rick and his partner have been open for about four months. I've enjoyed it. Now I wake up in the morning, I might have more headaches than I had when I was playing <laughs> ball, but my knees feel good, and my body doesn't ache, and, uh, and it's, a new, uh, it's a new future for me. Uh, it's a tight business. If you work hard, you'll be successful. If you don't work hard, you won't be successful, and uh, it's very similar to playing basketball, just as competitive and uh, just as rewarding. And now that Roby is back in Kentucky, he'll be at Rupp Arena often, following the Wildcats. And looking down the road, Rick believes some big things are possible. What they're going to have to do is find the right combination. Once they find the right combination, they're going to have enough depth coming off the bench to make them uh, definitely a contender this year. And hopefully in the next couple years, uh, they'll be in the same shoes we were in uh, my senior year. All right, former UK All-American Rick Roby. Rick told me last week that the one thing that has really made it easy on him, he knew what he wanted to do when his basketball career came to an end. We're at halftime here at Rupp and Kentucky leading the Rainbows of Hawaii 47-33. We'll continue in a moment. He read of Wild West heroes. He was hailed World War I's greatest reporter. He wrote of his home state. I think of Kentucky as an old-fashioned moss rose. The fragrance conjures up pictures of grandmother's garden, a moonlight night, and a pretty girl leaning against a porch pillar. The true story of Irvin S. Cobb, brought to you by Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. These days, people talk a lot about truth in labeling. At Budweiser, we started our own truth and labeling program over a hundred years ago. And what was true a hundred years ago is still true today. Budweiser, the king of beers. When you're rocking down the highway, keep your engine rolling with high-performance Valvoline motor oil. The convenient way to get Valvoline in your car is to rock on down to your neighborhood instant oil change. They'll change your oil and oil filter using quality Valvoline, plus perform a 10-point maintenance check all in only 10 minutes. For fast, convenient service, rock on down to your neighborhood instant oil change. Ah, cocologists. Wait, wait, wait for the show. Uh-oh. I see the P word. So listen to this. Next time, reach for a Coke. Become a cocologist. What are you waiting for? Catch the wave. Coke. This is Joe Hall. Win two season tickets to next year's UK basketball and a home entertainment center. Details and a Druthers coupon on 12-pack cans of Coca-Cola. And we continue here at halftime now with our Budweiser scoreboard. And let's go first to college basketball. It was Indiana over Miami of Ohio, 90 to 65. Dean Garrett, 25. Ricky Calloway, 19. The Wildcats play the Hoosiers next weekend in Indianapolis. Great Alaska shootout. Syracuse wins over UAB, 79-63. The Orangemen will play either Arizona or Michigan in the championship game. Arizona leading the Wolverines in the second half, 60-42. Iowa wins over Kansas. That is in the Maui Classic, 100-81. Danny Manning, 23, in the losing effort for Kansas. Transylvania this afternoon wins over Otterbein, 100-67. Trancy unbeaten in its first three games. And right now it's time for a station break. We'll continue in a moment. This is the University of Kentucky Television Network.
Clothes piled in a heap, no selection? There must be dozens of consignment stores like this. Until now, Foster Doors Consignment Incorporated. You've never seen a store quite like it. Listen to the heartbeat. When you want to go from freewheeling to 4x4 fun, Chevy S10 lets you do what Ford and Toyota can't. Shift and keep right on going with standard Instatrack. The heartbeat of America. Chevy S10. Chevy truck. The way some places make hamburger patties. It's no wonder their burgers can turn out thin, dry, and hard. Well, at Hardee's, we make our quarter-pound patties more gently, so they cook up all thick, juicy. It's a complicated machine, but it's based on an idea that's quite old-fashioned. Because at Hardee's, we're out to win you over. UK and IU open their season's highlights tonight. Here at halftime in Lexington, Kentucky, the Kentucky Wildcats leading Hawaii 47-33. Right now, it's time to turn to Keith Elkins and University Report. This is University Report with Keith Elkins. You know, it's always gratifying when UK is recognized for excellence, and today is no exception. This grant is a tremendous vote of confidence in this university. The vote of confidence referred to by UK President David Rozelle is a recently announced $2.75 million grant from the National Institute on Drug Abuse. The grant will establish a drug abuse prevention research center at UK and will also provide funding for four research projects. Those projects include an analysis of the need for stimulation, which has been shown to be related to drug abuse. A study of effectiveness of Project DARE, a program in which local police are educating sixth graders about the dangers of drug abuse a study of drug abuse public service messages to determine their effectiveness, and a study of drug abuse by minorities. We're going to concentrate the efforts of some very talented people on understanding what causes kids and other people to use drugs, what are some of the immediate effects of that, how we can effectively intervene early on to get them either not to start using drugs, or if they have started using drugs, how to inhibit their movement to greater use of those drugs or other drugs. Clayton is part of a team of researchers representing several different disciplines, all of them hoping that a better understanding of, and perhaps some answers to, the drug abuse problem will result from their work at the University of Kentucky. The University of Kentucky, a great place to get a college education. A couple of other scores I'd like to pass along. The Lady Cats win the Lady Cat Invitational this afternoon, 93-75 over East Carolina. So congratulations to Sharon Fanning. Eastern Kentucky is leading Western in that 1AA playoff game down in Richmond, 34-17 in the fourth quarter. Larry and Marty will be along in a moment with the halftime statistics. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Managing this store is a real challenge, but I can count on my share of the reward for doing the job right. I'll tell you something else you can count on, too. That's finishing school. You'll have a tough time getting a good job without it. So don't drop out. Get your diploma. Because you won't be a kid forever. This is your Ashland Station or Super America store for a copy of our free brochure, Dropping the Dropout Rate. My wife found out that Long John Silvers is offering four Norman Rockwell mugs for the holidays for just 99 cents apiece. Who do you think was first in line? Bingo. 
This holiday season, come in for your Rockwell mugs and get another great classic. Long John Silver's Shrimp, Fish, and Chicken Dinner. For the low holiday price of just $3.99. Long John Silver's. And uh, don't forget your mugs. Jumping from store to store trying to find the lowest prices on toys is a tough game to play. But not when you land at Children's Palace, where you'll discover our low price on Talking Mickey Mouse from Worlds of Wonder, just $49.99 every day. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Mickey sings and tells stories while kids read from their own storybooks. So play the game you always win. Come to Children's Palace and discover how much less toys can cost. Tonight's game is being sponsored in part by Valvoline High Performance Motor Oil. Valvoline, because motor oil is not just motor oil. By Eastern Kentucky Power, the member cooperatives of the East Kentucky Power System. By your Kentucky Ford dealers. Have you driven a Ford lately? And by Peters Construction, serving Kentucky and surrounding states with offices in Lexington and Owensboro. And by First National Bank of Louisville, where you'll find the UK Visa and MasterCard. And Hardee's. We're out to win you over. We're about ready to start the second half. I'm Artie Brenneman with Larry Conley. 47-33, Larry Kentucky led by as many as 20. The three-pointer by Chris Gaines at the buzzer cuts it to 14. Nevertheless, the first half pretty much went, I think, as everybody expected it would. Well, it did. I think a little bit of lax in their defensive pressure midway point of the first half on caused these statistics to come up the way they did. But you look at those statistics, Marty, right there. Kentucky not only took twice as many shots, they made twice as many field goals. Both clubs shooting the same percentage of 56%. Free throws, Hawaii got 14 shots. Kentucky got eight. They made five of them. Interesting as far as individual scoring is concerned. Ed Davender, who had 22. As you look at the big guns uh, in the first half for Kentucky, Lock 14, Chapman 10, Winston Bennett had eight points, uh, Manuel with eight off the bench. Davender, 22 Tuesday against the Soviets, uh, did not score in the first half. He attempted, as a matter of fact, only one short, but uh, Larry, as you point out, he's going to get his. Yeah, don't worry about that. I mean, he averaged 15 points a game last year, and this is the type of game some guys like to get into and say, hey, I'll just give mine up. Let's let everybody else get theirs. They're going to need me later on, and believe me, they will need him later on. Chris Gaines led the Hawaii Rainbows with 13 in the first 20 minutes, and uh, we're underway here. 47 Kentucky, 33 Hawaii. They tried the back door to Gaines from Gabriel, and it goes out of bounds. It's kind of like deja vu. We're starting yeah. the second half just like we did the first. They did that more than on a few occasions in the first half, and they start the second half the same way. Davinder Chapman, Bennett, Locke, Jenkins. The same lineup that started the game against Murray and Gaines and Gabriel and Bowles and Brockhoff starting the second half in place of Reggie Cross, who was almost non-existent in quite a bit of playing time in the first half. Hawaii content to be in this 2-3 zone. It looks like a 1-1-3, but they actually adjust to whatever Kentucky sets up. More of a matchup zone than anything. Kentucky's going to get shots on the perimeter of this zone, and they're going to look for Chapman or Davender to take those shots. Davender penetrates, gets off the jump shot. Well, whenever you can take one dribble into the seam of a zone and get into the heart of it, you've killed the zone. Because if they come and get you, you drop it off. If they don't, you take the shot. So, and only a second field goal attempt, Ed Davender has scored. Gaines stripped of the ball. Craig Murray had it taken away by Davender. There's Chapman. He is looking for the lob and elected to... Stick it back out front to Ed Davender. Marty, good maturity on the part of Red Chapman right there. He could have taken a bad shot and chose not to. Jenkins having all sorts of problems. He dribbled right into the teeth of that zone. Maybe Rex should have taken it anyway. <laughs> and Kentucky turns it over for only the sixth time. <laughs> Billy Bowles too strong. Brockhoff trying to, to outrace Ed Davender for the rebound. It goes out of bounds and it'll be Hawaii ball. Kind of a quiet crowd in here tonight in Rupp Arena. Well, they jumped out in front by such a spread so early. It was 17 to 4 cats before you could blink an eye. And it has gone back and forth since then. Big lead, not so big lead, but still comfortable right now at 16 at 49-33. 
little bit different than what we saw the other night against the Russian team where it was so much pounding going on and such a punishing game. Both clubs really playing very aggressive. Tonight has been an entirely different game. Well, it is refreshing to see him go up and down the floor on more than twice without a whistle being blown. As the Cats shot 44 free throws in a bruising game against the Soviet Union. Jumper misses again by Billy Bowles. He's had an off night from the field. Bennett with a kick out to Davener. Up the floor it goes to Chapman. The stop and go dribble. Put it up. He's fouled. Pretty good open field move by Rex Chapman and ultimately fouled the third of the night against Billy Bowles. I think Chapman got in trouble on one side of the basket, decided to take it to the other side. Let's watch and see. You can see right here, nothing but green shirts around him. He goes to the other side to lay it up. A lot of ball there. Yeah. Billy Bowles argued vehemently with the official Gerald Boudreaux over the call, and uh, as a result of seeing it again, maybe he had a right to complain. Chapman shooting, 10 points in the first half, two three-point goals, two two-point goals. First time on the line, and here's point number 11. Gabriel clears for the visiting team. 50 to 33. Kentucky struggles a little bit from the free throw line. They did that the other night against the Soviet Union. Tonight they're again having, a, although they haven't taken as many free throws, they're again having a little bit of a problem from there. Bennett skies above the rim to get the rebound. Well, of course, last year they were 10th in the SEC in free throw percent. They tried the lob there to, it looked like Rex Chapman. I hope that was a lob, but that was a <laughs> shot by Davinder. He's in trouble. <laughs> Kentucky again back in their man-to-man -man defense. Not as much pressure by Davinder this time. Jenkins, good pressure outside. Reggie Cross back in the lineup. Has it slapped right back in his face by Rob Locke. Craig Murray recovers. Left open, Gabriel 15. Locke tried to get to him, but he was a late comer, and that's 10 points in the game for John Gabriel. And what happened was Locke went to help, and when he did, he left his man wide open, and John Gabriel buried it in the courts. The Rainbow's down by 15 with 17 minutes remaining. Hawaii back in that zone defense again. They're really packing it back on the inside now. Locke was fouled, and he was fouled by John Gabriel. That's his third. Interesting collegiate basketball scores. That Iowa 19-point win over Larry Brown's Kansas team. That's a big surprise to me. Tell you what, the Southeastern Conference is off to a great start. How about Florida advancing to the Big Apple NIT? Beat Iowa State last night, 96-88. Vernon Maxwell with 28. Livingston Chapman. Young man freshman. with a great name. 27. What a great name. Auburn nuked South Alabama. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nuked them by 53. North Carolina had a, a struggle on its hands last night against Southern California. They're playing Richmond tonight in that uh, tournament that the Spiders are hosting in Richmond, Virginia. And that Richmond club's a pretty good ball club. Good move by Locke. Up and inside. Good board work. Stayed with it. Went after it a second time and got it back in. Rob Locke playing much better tonight. 16 for Locke. 52-35. Kentucky by 17. Reggie Cross, three-point attempt by Murray. The line drive jump shot, no good. The race for the ball. Won by Hawaii's Billy Bowles. Knocked away, Davinder ahead of the pack. He scores it. And a senseless foul against Craig Murray. Well, that's one you just back off of. You've got no chance of stopping Ed Davinder when he reaches that point. Murray thought he could. He reached up and grabbed him right on the arm as he went up. Watch Davinder look over his shoulder. Did you see that little glance over his left shoulder to see who was coming? Another bit experience right there. Watch it up top. See Davinder come up with a steal right here. Now watch him look over his left shoulder. There. That little turn. There's the foul right there committed. Craig Murray right on the arm. Not much more than a touch foul committed by Murray, but they called it nevertheless. And the three-point play belongs to Davinder, who has had five quick points here at the second half. And again, pressure being shown by Kentucky on Hawaii. 2-2-1 full court pressure. Locke with the steal. Nice play by Rob Locke. He aborted the referee. He tiptoes along press row. And he gets the biggest ovation of the night for the Kentucky crowd. Listen to him. Can he score it? He'd have really blown the roof off this joint. 
had he been able to knock that field goal attempt in. But the crowd appreciates the efforts of Rob Locke. Here's a steal by Davender. A foot race with Murray. And he'll not foul him this time. Murray said, I got it once, but I'm not going to do it again. Good move by Ed Davender. Uh, Davender has really turned it up a notch here. 21 turnovers against Hawaii. 57-35, the biggest lead for the Kentucky Wildcats here, up by 22. Bennett knocked it away, created the least ball situation, recovered by Cedric Jenkins. As it so often happens, Marty, whenever you get a run, most of the time I've seen clubs get offensive runs, but it was the defense that ignited. And that's what Kentucky got going this time, on defense. Locke tried to muscle his way inside, could not quite get there. It rolls off the Islanders, and it'll be Kentucky ball as Mike Scott comes in for Rob Locke, and he will be greeted warmly as he goes to the Cats bench. Tack on a timeout on the floor. 14 minutes, 42 seconds remaining. The Cats are cooking to the tune of a 57-35 lead. We'll be back. A tradition of horsepower. For the second consecutive year, Budweiser Racing Teams captured three national championships. Bobby Rahal in the Bud IndyCar. Kenny Bernstein in the Budweiser Team. And Jim Kropfeld in Miss Budweiser. It's a tradition of horsepower that keeps Budweiser ahead of the pack. Racing fans. When you're rocking down the highway, keep your engine rolling with high-performance Valvoline motor oil. The convenient way to get Valvoline in your car is to rock on down to your neighborhood instant oil change. They'll change your oil and oil filter using quality Valvoline, plus perform a 10-point maintenance check all in only 10 minutes. For fast, convenient service, rock on down to your neighborhood instant oil change. Imagine for a minute that this is the phone in your kitchen. Now you can use it to do something you might never have thought possible. Now it's all you need to apply for a loan at First National, even if you've never banked with us before. All you do is call the loan phone between 8 and 8 weekdays and 9 to 4 Saturdays, and you'll hear back from us in less than an hour. If you need a loan, any loan, just pick up the phone. 22-point lead for Kentucky, 57-35. Again, we remind you, the Radisson Plaza Hotel here in Lexington is offering, well, simply a great getaway, guaranteed to take the chill off the winter weather. Receive deluxe accommodations and a complimentary breakfast, all for just $59. To put some sunshine in your life, call 1-800-333-3333 and ask for the winter adventure. Well, Rob Locke. Besides scoring 16 points, has hauled down seven rebounds. He received quite an ovation in going to the Kentucky bench to be replaced by Mike Scott just prior to the timeout. That's the only change that any Sutton made. This was a luxury he didn't have last year. He can set lock down now and give him a little bit of a blow. He's got Scott in there at one position, and Jenkins goes to the big forward. Chapman to Bennett cutting across the lane. Too strong. He watches teammate Jenkins pick it off and put it in for his first two. To borrow one of my son's favorite phrases, Dad, that is awesome. <laughs> and they are awesome on the uh, underneath that offensive board. Kentucky really doing a great job on the board. Right into the hands of Mike Scott. Chapman sidles by Mo Brockhoff, who swats at it one time too many. Brockhoff with his second. You know, Larry, we saw Kentucky come out tremendous intensity defensively. They forced the turnovers early that built up the big lead. Then, as you pointed out, they reached a point where things started to level out a bit, and all of a sudden they've turned it up one more time. Well, oftentimes you get an adrenaline flow. You know, when you start the season, you got to start uh, this game. These guys came out the first five minutes. They were world beaters in that first five minutes, and then it kind of leveled out, and now it gets back to execution and play. Kentucky right now having the better of it. Foul call. Bennett shot, missed. Bennett shot again. Same result. Jenkins got the board. 
he put it out, but the whistle beat him, and uh, the foul, I believe, is against Winston Bennett. No, it's against Cedric Jenkins, his second, and the first team foul here in the second half against the Cats. So Eric Manuel, who operated basically out of that guard spot in the first half, now comes into the lineup to replace Jenkins on the Kentucky front line. And Chapman with a steal. Davender tipped out of bounds. That pass was intended for Manuel inside. Only eight times has Kentucky turned the ball over tonight. Davender again with that good look on the inside. Well, he is such a multi-talented guard. He can pass, he can shoot, he handles the ball well. He's a good defensive player. What more can you ask of a guy? I don't know. Apparently hasn't been invented. Uh, Scott with a turnaround, and Mike Scott gets in on the end. Yeah, you kind of get the feeling here in the first game that Mike Scott's going to be one of those players that is a crowd favorite with everybody. He turned and made that shot, and everybody stood. Jump shot on the way, missing by Gabriel. Upstairs for the ball, Bennett. Here's Chapman in traffic to the cutting Javender. He double pumps and he receives a Hawaii personal foul. The one thing that I think Eddie Sutton's probably going to be happy with is we watch this replay again. And I'll get to this point in a minute. Here's Chapman with a good pass to Davender breaking on the right side. He's getting a good effort out of his bench right now. And as we that talked about, Marty, at the top of the show, you got to get some playing time for those younger guys because they're getting ready to go into a very tough part of their season, particularly those next three games. And to have the little experience that they can get from this game and carry it on into, the, into December, I think it's a big plus for Eddie Sutton. As Davinder shoots at the free throw line, the foul was against Chris Gaines. And Hawaii coach Riley Wallace making a rare substitution. He has brought off the bench junior Mike Among, a 6'3 native Hawaiian, and a young man who is a member of the Hawaii volleyball team. In such dire straits is this University of Hawaii basketball program that they have recruited Among. He will be available to him only until late December when the volleyball season starts. Score the foul on Mike Scott. I wonder if he's a spiker. He probably has pretty good leaping ability, I would think. Got a final score. Eastern Kentucky has defeated Western 40 to 17. A cakewalk for EKU, who will next play at Northeast Louisiana next Saturday. Good trap there by Chapman, and they got the ball. Nice oh, play, by play by Bennett. Bennett. Yeah. Two on one. Scott! Assist Chaplin, basket Scott, and it is now a 30-point Kentucky lead at 65 to 35. 28 Kentucky points coming as a result of Hawaii turnovers. Here's Chapman. He takes it to the hole. Folks, it's getting to be Pearl Harbor time. Yes, it is. That down the hatches. A steal and a fine play nullified because Chapman was straddling the line. He's out of bounds. It goes back to the rainbow. <laughs> Davinder checks out. Sean Sutton checks in. And it'll be Leron Ellis for Mike Scott. Chris Gaines is also back for Hawaii, replacing Mike Among, so he was out there very briefly. Bit for the steal by Manuel. Brockhoff drives. Good defensive play by Bennett. Ball rejected by Ellis. Put it up. Blocked by Ellis. Foul. And this one's against Winston Bennett. They're getting after him inside. Oh, are they ever! Laron Ellis blocked it twice, then got a foul. <laughs> Watch it again. Ellis up in the air. There's the rejection right there. I had looked like he called him for a foul on that particular play, but two plays prior to that, he blocked one. One play prior to that, he blocked one. You know, I think a basketball crowd, a very good basketball crowd, appreciates a block shot about as well as a good play. 
That is a great play. Especially if you keep it in play. Yes. 67-36, 11.50 remaining. Best I ever saw at that was Bill Russell. Absolutely. Without any, he had no peer. Inside, Bennett beat his man. Basket, he's down. And Bennett has 10 points. John Gabriel, I believe, and that's going to be his fourth. I think that is fifth. He's out of here. Watch this pass to the inside. Bennett with good body control. He draws the foul right there, took the shock, and laid the ball in. John Gabriel heading back to the bench. And tomorrow will be on an airplane heading back for sand and surf. Doesn't sound bad, does it? <laughs> so Gabriel fouls out with over 11 and a half minutes remaining, and that brings Reggie Cross back in. And Bennett has the 11, 70 to 36, as the lead continues to widen. Very, very strong possibility that the Cats will reach 100 points tonight. Swarming defense. Craig Murray left open for the three-point attempt. Up above the iron, Bennett. Lead pass up the floor, Sean Sutton. The trailer manual. Hello. And a foul. High fives all around. Nice pass by Sean Sutton. He saw Manuel coming late. Well, it's nice to have a card to get the ball to you. Look at Sutton right here. Good dish back to Manuel, and he laid it in. Manuel now five out of six from the floor. The score at halftime was 47 to 33. It is now 72 to 36. Three points has been the sum total of Hawaii's offensive production. Manuel has 11. And now Reggie Hansen replaces Winston Bennett. John Gabriel had a field goal. Billy Bowles a free throw. That's been it as far as Hawaii's offense has been concerned here in the second half. Marty, it would not surprise me to see these young men play the rest of the game. I doubt you'll see that starting lineup back in here again. Derek Miller commit that foul. You know, holding a team to under double digits in the half is like pitching a shutout. Yeah. I mean, they are really doing a great job defensively, but I was going to say, Hawaii's not a great ball handling club. They have given it up a number of times to Kentucky, although a lot of those turnovers have been pressure from Kentucky's defense. Is that the five second count, five guys? Second call. Kentucky shooting just about as well now for the game as they did in the first half. They're 30 out of 55. That is a 55% figure, while the Bows are 11 out of 30 for 37%. Derek Miller, good three-point shoot. Not this time. Cleared out by Billy Bowles, and they'll go the other way with it. Just over 10 minutes remaining. Good pass. Nice Foul. pass. Foul. But an A for effort for Laurent Ellis. On the line will be Billy Bowles. You know how frustrating that is. Make a great move, blow by the guy that's guarding you, and you run in, and there's Laurent Ellis at 6'11", looking you right in the face. And you take it up, and you're up at rim level, and he's standing there about six inches above you. Get Watch him make the move. Here comes Ellis to the other side. There's the foul committed. Larry, while I'm thinking about it, I want to congratulate John McGill, who wrote in the Lexington Herald Leader today, after the completion of the Kentucky Soviet game on Tuesday night, why I didn't say this one doesn't belong to the Reds. The only thing I can say to John McGill is I wish that I, I were that original, and I wish that I thought of it. Ellis 
He also wrote, can you imagine how good this Kentucky team would be if it had a guard who could pass like Larry Conley? I think they have one. I think Ed Davender. I'm not going to compare it to me. <laughs> I'm just simply saying he is a great passer. You humble devil, you. 9.48 to go in the game. Kentucky 73, Hawaii 36. Stay with us. Ah, cocologists. Wait, wait, waiting for the show? Uh-oh. I see the P word. So listen to this. Next time, reach for a Coke. Become a cocologist. What are you waiting for? Catch the wave. Coke. This is Joe Hall. Win two season tickets to next year's UK basketball and a home entertainment center. Details and a Druthers coupon on 12-pack cans of Coca-Cola. This Christmas, a lot of kids just might go to bed with visions of baby-bound puppies. And baby-bound curries dancing in their heads. Well, every time you buy any sandwich, fries, and a drink at Hardee's, you can get one of the babies for only $2.49. There's a new one every week, so by Christmas Eve, you could have all five, which might give you the chance to make some dreams come true on Christmas morning. There's been some question about the correct pronunciation of this sensible new import. Psst. It rhymes with Sunday. Drive a new 87 Topaz for only $95.95. Every 87 Topaz in stock, only $95.95. Hurry, the cars with the most equipment will be the first to go. Bluegrass, bluegrass, bluegrass Lincoln Mercury, across from Bluegrass Zuzu. Well, Kentucky involved right now in the expected laugher, 73-36 with 9.48 remaining in the game. While up at the land of the Northern Lights in the Great Alaskan Shootout, you got to call it an upset. Arizona has beaten Bill Frieder's uh, University of Michigan team 79-64. to Terry Mills, Ramiro Robinson, Gary Grant, and all that talent. And uh, Arizona apparently had their way with them tonight. I'll tell you what, remember Arizona. Yeah. They are a good basketball team. That's an early score that was just flashed on your screen out of the Big Apple NIT Florida with an 11-point lead early against Seton Hall. They've got two great players in Arizona, Elliott and Kerr. Both are outstanding players. Rejection from behind by Reggie Hansen. He stripped Billy Bowles, but Murray was Johnny on the spot. Now Riley Wallace getting after it with the officials over the fact that no whistle sounded. Hawaii keeps it. It's got to be frustrating for Riley Wallace to sit here and look at his club. Only scored three points in the second half. A lot of it, I think, a result of Kentucky's defense. Well, he was very frank in assessing these back-to-back -back games against Southeastern Conference competition. He said, I'd have never scheduled these games. Frank Arnold did it, and he had to live with it. Vanderbilt last night, a loss by a score of 91-63, and what will probably even be bigger here tonight to a Kentucky team that has been ranked anywhere from number one to number 15 in the preseason polls. Marty, I really feel like there are probably 15 to 16 teams that can win the championship this year. There isn't any one clear-cut, decisive team that's going to step up there. I think we're going to have to wait till the end of February, first part of March, before we can narrow it down. 15.9 for Chris Gaines, growing pull and all, 73-38. Now a five-point second half for the Rainbows. There's the lob. One freshman to another. Eric Manuel to Leron Ellis. Get used to that one, folks. You're going to see it for about four more years. 75-38. We saw it the other night when it went from Ed Davender to Leron Ellis. This time his freshman teammate Manuel turns it loose. Hanson was a little late getting there. It's a good move down the middle that time, too, by Craig Murray. Watch Murray take the ball on the inside. Good move around Sutton right here. Put the ball in the left hand. He got by him. He got that lead step. And once he was there, Sutton could do nothing but catch up. And Hanson tried to help. How about these sad but true numbers for Craig Murray? Three points make it four points now. And 13 turnovers. We're talking singularly, folks. But again, in this young man's defense, he is the only true point guard that is at the disposal of Riley Wallace. They've got some kids that'll be becoming eligible next month. 
but he's a guy who has to do it. There's nobody else and no more help available. Chris Gaines comes up with a takeaway against Hanson. That's eight turnovers now for Kentucky. And Hanson commits another personal foul. I know why he gets the ball out on the side again. You know, it's a chance also uh, when you sit and look at these freshmen who are playing right now. You've got three of them on the floor. And you've also got two sophomores out there. Kentucky has signed such a great recruiting class coming in for next year to, to add to what is already here. In fact, you and I were discussing this before the game today. The USA ran the top 25 players in the country last week. And of the top 25, 21 of them have signed. The Big East got seven of them. The ACC got three. The Southeastern Conference got five. And the Big Ten, two. And of the teams that got those players, there were only four teams in the country that signed two players. It was St. John's, Syracuse, Florida, and Kentucky. And the two that Kentucky got, of course, Sean Kemp out of Elkhart, Indiana, Concord High School, and of course Chris Mills out of Fairfax High in Los Angeles. And while he wasn't considered one of the top 25 players in the nation, the, the guard that uh, Kentucky got out of the Cathedral High School in Indianapolis, a young man who gets figures to, to be a pretty good player Sean down Woods. here, Sean Woods, Woods absolutely. Score the basket by Richard Madison. Watch it again. Good dish to the inside. Madison knows what to do with it when he gets it there. You know, the one thing Eddie Sutton teaches his big men to do in situations like that is really protect the basketball and go up with a power move. He doesn't like to see the ball kicked out unless Chapman's standing there from 18 feet or Davenport. In that situation, when you've got that close a shot, you want to take it and you use your body to get it up there. Kentucky now by 36, 78-42, 7.40 remaining in the game. Free throw shootings improved for the Wildcats. They're now 12 of 16. That's a big improvement over what they've done in the first half. Chris Gaines has it knocked away, but maintains possession. I think he's going to stay with that man-to-man -man de defense. Sutton did a nice job out there. Good pressure on the ball. Gaines wants to make a move. He does. And as he got that one-step advantage on Derek Miller, the foul call. They're not going to give him the basket. They say the foul was committed down on the floor, not while he was in the act of shooting. So one and one in the opening for Gaines, who has scored 16 points tonight. A team, the Rainbows, that finished last in the Western Athletic Conference last year. We touched on it briefly in the first half. Facing the likes of uh, Wyoming, New Mexico, Brigham Young, the other schools in that conference, and most of the so-called experts are picking them uh, pretty much to finish where they finished last year. Gains a perfect 7 out of 7 from the free throw line. 78-44. So the Rainbows have scored 11 points here in the second half and Kentucky's offense has been rolling in high gear three-point attempt by Miller it's no good the ball controlled inside by Gaines Miller having a tough shooting night well, Lenny Sutton said in the preseason he said he's the best three-point shooter that we have even better than Rex Chapman he's also challenged Miller to work on his defense a little bit too and I think Miller's doing that almost a steal right there Davinder got it again it's his sixth steal three on one Miller the middle man up no good Thrown up very hard by Laron Ellis. I think he got hit in the chops. Somebody got him across the jaw as he started up. Bo Brockhoff. Checked defensively by Manuel Murray with a three-pointer. Inside rebound controlled by Madison. He recovers and kicks it off to Davin. I think this crowd wants to see the Cats reach 100 points. With six minutes, better than six minutes to go in the game, they are at least for the moment stuck on 78. And while Davinder has come back, Rex Chapman will do so in a moment. Ah, Tip up, and no, it rolls off the front lip of the rim, and Brockoff bear hugs the basketball for the rainbow. Well, Davinder just missed the shot, and the good follow-up that time by Ellis couldn't get it to go either. Ah. 
pretty Russ. good one-on-one -on -one basketball by Chris Gaines. And folks, we're talking about a guy who's got a serious groin injury. And they wave the basket off. He's called for an offensive foul, or was he? Oh, that'll count it. So Gaines got the basket. He also got the personal foul. And they'll come down to the other end for free throws from Leron Ellis. Back in the lineup for the Rainbows, Mike Among. Rex Chapman has come back for Kentucky. So they have Chapman, Davender, Manuel, Madison, and the shooter, Ellis. It is Chris Gaines, Mike Among, Mo Brockhoff, Reggie Cross, and Billy Bowles for Hawaii. Good job by Manuel to get inside and get the rebound, and Kentucky could set their offense again. Oh, no. oh. Oh. Tip by Ellis. Nice play. Use your left yeah. hand to hold the guy off, and the right hand to lay it in. <laughs> Nine points for Ellis. Manuel has scored 11. And almost a takeaway by Kentucky. Hawaii keeps the ball. Here's the drive. Body fly. Ellis gets up. He's happy with the call. Charlie Backus that offensive foul against Reggie Cross. Boy, Eddie Sutton is happy to see this. How about a guy 6'11 taking the charge, getting in good position to draw it? And a good Academy Award performance. Just a touch. Davender's wide open and gave it to Chapman. A little bit too strong by Chapman. He had Ellis posting up inside. Nine times now, the Wildcats have turned it over. Under five minutes remaining, Kentucky leading 80 to 46. Turnaround bank shot. Not there for Hawaii. Bowles shoots it up and in. Well, that's a good effort by Bowles. He was fighting inside against Ellis and Madison and was able to come up with it and get the shot to go in. Good effort by Bowles. He has scored nine points. Got to take that one, Ed. 18-footer, bingo. Passed it up two or three times to give it to somebody else. He and Chapman not looking for points right now. They're just content to dish the ball to the inside. When they back off from you from 15 feet, you got to take it. Oh, absolutely. And Davender has been the main man here in the second half. He has scored 11 points, four field goals and three free throws after being shut out and taking only one shot in the first 20 minutes. Two on go. one break. Go. Look out. Nice play, but... Not the most desirable of passes by Davender. A little bit higher in their home. Cross with a Hawaii rebound. Well, Cross did a nice job of getting that ball away from Ellis. It's a good pass by Davender. He just got up there with Ellis. Good pass. Brockhoff with a basket. And a nice pass on the baseline by Reggie Cross. Rob Locke replacing Leron Ellis. I guess Ellis is getting a little bit tired. He's standing over next to Coach Sutton. You can see right there. He's got to bend over to talk to his coach. You can't get my breath. That's why Locke's back in the lineup. He's just going to give him a blow. I would imagine he would come back in the game. Well, we've got a timeout call. So only three minutes and 33 seconds remaining. Kentucky on its way to a win in its first game of the season, leading Hawaii 82 to 50. Red! Oh, Red! Red! If you leave, where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I'd get a ground coupled heat pump. It could save you up to 50% on your heating bills. Make sure your money won't be gone with the wind. Call your rural electric cooperative about a money-saving ground-coupled heat pump. I'll call about it tomorrow. A message from the member cooperatives of East Kentucky Power.
No one in America sells more trucks than number one, your Ford dealer. And to celebrate, he's having a number one sales drive on all his 87 and brand new 88 trucks. Now get $500 cash back on America's number one selling full-size pickup, Ford F-150. On America's number one selling compact pickup, Ford Ranger. Even on every Ford Bronco 2. Add to that free factory air conditioning on specially equipped models. All before you get your best deal, where quality is standard. Your Ford dealer. To look at these cards, you'd think the University of Kentucky was getting in the credit card business. Well, they are, sort of. Now, First National Bank is offering special Visa and MasterCards that make automatic contributions to university programs every time you use them. Apply at First National for your University of Kentucky Visa or MasterCard. Supporting UK is just that easy. As we wind this one down, only 333 remaining in Kentucky, leading by 32. We'll remind you that uh, our whole crew will be right back here on Tuesday night, and we invite you to join us on most of these same stations. As the Cats take on Tony Yates, Cincinnati Bearcats. Airtime will be 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, right here live from Rupp Arena. That's Tuesday night. It's been a very profitable night off the Kentucky bench. The Cat Reserves have accounted for 29 of their 82 points, while the University of Hawaii has gotten but a five-point night out of its bench, which is very, very small. Chapman out of the right pocket. Locke powers it up and in. I'm not sure why he went underneath the basket. There wasn't anybody around him on the right side over there. He took it to the other side thinking someone was going to block it, and there wasn't anyone within five feet of him. Rob Locke with 18. 84 to 50. Baseline jumper up, no good. The tip goes by Billy Bowles. Good job by Bowles to get up there. 84-52. Hawaii will go to 0-2 as they return home to play Pacific on Tuesday night. Manuel is fouled, and as we mentioned, Kentucky will be back here on Tuesday night to take on the University of Cincinnati. Bearcats open their season tomorrow night against Northern Kentucky, so they'll have one game under their belt before rolling into Rupp Arena. You were telling me that Tony Yates uh, has been saying some things in the press up there. That he's very pleased with his club, the way they've been looking in scrimmages. Well, of course, Roger McClendon, that talented young man, his abilities speak for themselves. But the report I get about some freshmen, particularly a kid by the name of Libertas Robinson, uh, and some of the other young men who had to sit idly by and watch last year, uh, that this could be a very pleasant year. Uh, the city of Cincinnati has got a chance to be well represented on a collegiate level this year with the hope for resurgence by Bearcat fans of their team and of course Xavier, Pete Gillen's club coming back after a, a strong finish last year, a big victory over Missouri in the NCAA and of course ultimately losing a tough close ball game to Duke. Byron Larkin a pretty good player. Emmanuel struggling at the free throw line. Just two in a row. Fade away. Nice Boy. touch. Boy, he's got a nice touch. Boy, would I love to see Chris Gaines play when he is healthy. 21 points he has scored. 21 of the 54. And you know, there are two injuries in basketball that take so right. long to heal. One of them is a groin injury, the other one is a hamstring. And when you get those two injuries, it seems like it takes forever to get those things healed. Make that 23 points for Chris Gaines, and there is number 24. Now Sean Sutton comes in for Ed Davender. Manuel left a moment ago. Hansen came back in. And now Davender sits down, and Sutton works in the backcourt with Rex Chapman. 84-55, 2.14 to go. Three-point attempt by Chapman. She's the ball a little bit short tonight. Kentucky's going to stare that man-to-man -man defense now. Up top it goes, too much so, but tipped out by Jenkins. 
think the crowd underneath the basket there agreed with that call. Tip up and in by Mo Brockoff. Minute 40 on the clock. Sutton surveys the terrain, gives it up to Chapman. Madison. Sutton, they swing it left side to Hanson. Madison, another brick. Sutton good good try by Sutton yes, there. I sir. thought he was going to get that one. Got there just a little bit late. Good defense. Hanson almost came up with a steal again. Boy, they've got good, quick hands. These young players, freshmen and sophomores, are really, really quick. Led by Davner. Good baseline move. Well, Brock off with his second straight field goal, and we are in the final one minute of play. 84-59, Kentucky. High post, Cedric Jenkins. Cedric, you'll take one step toward the basket, you're wide open. And Thank you. you. Exactly correct. But you got to make it. Brockoff will try again, and he is guilty of the charging foul. So Kentucky will shoot him with the clock stopped at 44 seconds. Devin Kanoa, 6'1 freshman, and a native Hawaiian now comes in for the first time tonight. What's Brockoff with a move? Mm, I don't know about that one. I think Jenkins' feet were moving when he went in there. I think the Hawaii bench had a legitimate gripe there. You know, it's, here, it's nice to hear a name like Kanoa for a Hawaii team. I mean, you got a Kalani, a Kanoa. Yeah. I mean, you got to have that on we, an Hawaiian team. So far, we haven't seen Kalani Whitaker. He, or have we? No, we haven't. Mike Scott. Yes, sir. He's had a good night. His third field goal. 86 to 59 with 13, 12 seconds remaining in the game. And uh, Kalani Whitaker has now entered the fray, so to speak. They give him a chance to get in 12 seconds of basketball so he can tell his grandkids, I played at Rupp Arena. How'd you like to fly 8,000 miles to say that you played on the floor in Lexington, Kentucky? <laughs> I just assumed somebody else did that. <laughs> you make it a shot. Take it. Devin Kanoa. Craig Murray. He'll shoot it. Top of the circle. Rebound. Loose. Picked up by Jenkins. And that is it. As expected, the Kentucky Wildcats pick up a victory in relatively easy fashion tonight to successfully begin the season, beating Hawaii 86-59. to We'll be back. Good teaching is forever, and the teacher is immortal. You're the beatenest boy that ever grew up in the valley. <laughs> and as I take my time to plow along a steep Kentucky hill, I sing my song. The one horse farmer singing at the plow. Teacher, farmer, poet, novelist, the writings of Jesse Stewart. Brought to you by Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. Every day, Jack Taylor and Joe Donovan take the same road home. But today, they went a little out of their way. Give you a hand. Crisp taste of beechwood aged Budweiser. This bird's for all the guys who go out of their way. This bird's for you. If you had all the experience of yesterday, with all the skill and innovation of today, you couldn't lose. Psychologists. Wait, wait, waiting for the show? Uh-oh. I see the P-word. So listen to this. Next time, reach for a Coke. Become a Cokeologist. What are you waiting for? Catch the wave. Coke. 
This is Joe Hall. Win two season tickets to next year's UK basketball and a home entertainment center. Details and a Druthers coupon on 12-pack cans of Coca-Cola. 86-59, the final score, Kentucky, uh, as expected. Yeah, it really was, Marty. They played about as well as we expected them to play, and a lot of kids got some playing time, and I think that's very important this early in the season. Scoring was spread uh, liberally throughout. Our play of the game, or player of the game, I should say, tonight, our Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kentucky player of the game, Rob Locke. He scored 18 points. He came out smoking in the early moments, seemingly everywhere, as Kentucky bolted out in front very quickly by 13, and really, except for an occasional brief spurred by Hawaii. They really never had to look back. So a big night for the California native. 18 points for Rob Locke. Our play of the game, Larry Conley, brought to you by Coca-Cola, probably could have been one of a number of players doing here what Ed Davinger is doing. Well, I think it's indicative of the evening, really, because it caused 29 turnovers by Hawaii, of which Kentucky was able to turn in 30 points off of those turnovers. This is indicative of what the game was like. There's Ed Davinger going in for the layup after that steal. Davinger had a big second half after he was held without a point. He came up with a total of 11 points in the second half, and Kentucky Cakes walks to an easy victory. Final score again here at Rupp Arena. The Cats win their opener 86-59. And we will be back with final comments in just a moment. No one in America sells more vehicles than number one, your Ford dealer. And to celebrate, he's having a number one sales drive on all his 87 and brand new 88 cars. Now get free factory air conditioning or free automatic transmission on specially equipped Ford Escorts, America's number one selling car. Or save over $700 on a specially equipped Ford Taurus, America's number one selling midsize car. Plus, there's even factory to dealer cash incentives that can be passed on to you for additional savings. All where quality is standard, your Ford dealer. When my wife found out that Long John Silvers is offering four Norman Rockwell mugs for the holidays for just 99 cents apiece, who do you think was first in line? Bingo. This holiday season, come in for your Rockwell mugs and get another great classic. Long John Silvers shrimp, fish, and chicken dinner for the low holiday price of just $3.99. Long John Silvers. And uh, don't forget your mugs. These people are in here for one reason, giving dumb holiday gifts. He's doing time for giving a stupid fish tie. Could have gone to Furrow for the perfect gift and saved a lot of cash. How do I know? It's my job. I'm a gift buster. Give a Black & Decker 3 8 inch cordless reversing drill, $29.99 after rebate. Or Vermont American's power screwdriver bits at $4.99. No files in these. <laughs> Get the perfect gift for everyone on your list now at Big Holiday Savings. Be a gift buster at Furrow. Oh, not fruitcake. Ho, ho, ho. Once again, we remind you to join us on Tuesday night when the Kentucky Wildcats take on Tony H. Cincinnati Bearcats live at 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central. Once again, the final score from Rupp Arena tonight as Kentucky successfully kicks off its season. The Cats 86 and Hawaii 59 until Tuesday night. So long, everybody. Tonight's game has been sponsored in part by Budweiser. Beachwood age for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. By Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kentucky. The one you've always trusted for quality health care protection. By Coca-Cola. In Kentucky, there are two great traditions. Coca-Cola Classic and the Cats. And by Long John Silver Seafood Shop. Long John sounds good to me. And by Flavor Rich. At Flavor Rich, we're proud of what we make. And by First National Bank of Louisville, where you'll find the UK Visa MasterCard. And Hardee's, we're out to win you over.
wishes from Snyder's. Clothes piled in a heap, no selection. There must be dozens of consignment stores like this. Until now, Foster Doors Consignment Incorporated. You've never seen a store quite like it. Rain plays havoc with holiday traffic. The story tonight. We now join the following program in progress.